This is an interesting story. The first time that I met Teddy Riley, he had asked his guy, uh, Will, to ask me to come up to New York. And uh, I took took the train, went up to New York, and I went into the studio. I, I think it was soundtracks, but I'm not sure. I just remember you walked down from the street level and I told them that I was there to see Teddy. And they said, okay, we'll just go sit in the lobby for, for the one room. So I went and uh, sat in the in the lobby. I was wearing jeans, a white t-shirt, and a jean jacket. And I was the only white kid there. So I'm just sitting there. And there was all these other people there. And it, it was crazy because they were wearing really brilliant colors and sequins and feathers. I mean, they all looked like kind of mummers to me. Uh, and they were talking among themselves. And uh, they they looked at me, but no one talked to me, so I was very quiet. And we, we sat there, and all of us were waiting, and they were talking among themselves. And then um, Teddy came out of the control room to the lobby, and he shook everybody. He went to each person, shook their hand, and he says, hi to Teddy Riley. Sorry, I'll be right with you. And he went to everybody down the line, and then he came to me. He said, hi, I'm Teddy Riley. I'll be right with you. And he went into the control room. And then about two minutes later, he runs out. And he runs right up to me, goes, you're George. And I go, yeah. He says, I've been wanting to talk to you for a long, long time. And I said, all right. He says, come with me. And everybody was staring at me like, who is this guy? So he took me into the control room and he sat with me and we talked for a long time. He he wanted to put a recording studio together for himself. And uh, he wanted me to help him, you know, design it and configure it, put the gear in it and all that. And I said, okay. And we had a really good meeting. And I, you know, headed back to, to home and in Philadelphia. Uh, but then Teddy disappeared, uh, from New York. No one knew where he went to. And it was, uh, I think it was months and months and months. And then later on, he reappeared in Virginia Beach and he bought a shopping center and he put a studio in there. And I just wasn't in touch with him. Um, uh, but I had, become the digit design rep and part of my territory was Virginia Beach and I flew down there and uh one of my dealers was A L and M Audio Light and Music and uh they said we should go and meet Teddy and I said I know Teddy so they they took me over there and went into the studio and T- Teddy walked in he saw me he says George <laughs> it's like he he didn't know it was it was like long lost friends and we start talking. But the funny thing is, that's when I met Serban also, because Serban was Teddy's chief engineer for the studio. So uh, that's that's a story. That was kind of a an interesting story uh, that uh, that happened. The one thing I forgot to say in that story is the people that were in the lobby were the Winans and the person that was dressed in a bright purple outfit was Aaron Hall. So I didn't know that until later on. And actually, I didn't even know who they were if you had told me then. And that happens to me a lot. I I don't know the people because I'm just doing the work.